Welcome back everybody, welcome if you're new. Today we're in the Arca series here at Dega. Uh, we're starting 10th, they didn't qualify, but we're car number 7. Only 5 people qualified total. So we're going to be starting mid-pack out of 23 cars. This is going to be a cluster all together. I have no clue what split this is. There was like 270 people that registered. It was a ton. But super speedways always get crazy like this with the amount of people yeah you can't bump in these i already knew that because if you try to bump draft in these you're just going to turn the guy in front of you completely so you got to be careful with that <laughs> you can't tell me what to do <laughs> i love it oh this there this is gonna be a massive pile up at some point and there's no cautions in this either there are you do have a fast repair so i would like to turn off my fuel just in case we need to use it hopefully we don't because if we don't have to use it we should be in contention to win this thing but hopefully we don't end up in a big wreck that would suck but hopefully we can keep going finish the race out clean it's only 20 laps so relatively quick race the arca series always is with no cautions as well and if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like button. If you want to see some more, hit the subscribe. And you can unsubscribe. I can't freaking say that word. Whatever you want, it's free. So hopefully we can do pretty well. My next race, I'm planning on running something at Martinsville. Like maybe the next gen car or like the Xfinity race, something like that. I don't know. Trucks, Xfinity, next gen. I'm not sure yet. I really want to run Martinsville though because I've always enjoyed that track. So that will probably be the next one, hopefully. And then after that, I I, I either want to run the 305s at Knoxville, or I think maybe the UMPs at Weed Sport. I'm not sure because I just ran Weed Sport in the limited late models, and we won that. So maybe we'll try to go back to back at the track with different cars. We're gonna restart behind the five. Why is it every time I go to race the cats go crazy? I don't understand. <laughs> It just seems like they always do. But hopefully we can run pretty well. Stay out of trouble here. I wanted to start in the very back, but with nobody qualifying, we just got stuck right in the middle. Alrighty, let's see if they start. We got the pull. And car number 21, lovely. Did I change my steering ratio? I don't think I did. Oh god. Oh, 20, car 21 just went straight down to the infield. I don't think I changed my steering ratio to 12 to 1, but I might have. I'm not sure. No. Car 21 really had to go take out the cone for no reason. That makes no sense. God, these pace laps are forever. It's only one, thank God, but I'm so happy there's no cautions because these take forever. What does it say? John Carpenter 3 Halloween. The blue cone okay. deserves or John Carpenter's Halloween, not Carpenter 3. Why I'm does stupid. everyone hate the blue cone? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because it exists. You're not wrong. Not I really wrong. don't like how I, how you have to stay on the apron to be on the back until you get on the back stretch though. So dumb. Alright. Or not back stretch. Hoping to stay know. somewhat towards the front of this field. And not get wrecked. I don't like how tightly it's forced. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. Blackman. Probably. Yes. Yeah. New speedways, everybody like usually waits on. Just go right on the track, people usually you know, wait on the uh, here, flag and the throw of the green. Because you don't really want to get out to a lead in, at this track. Because you'll just get blown right by. But let's be careful on the start. Hopefully nobody gets hooked right off the beginning. Oh man, pace guy's off. Starting to pick up the pace zone. Um, the guy next to me is like gone. Probably blinked out or something. I wish we were a lower number though. I don't know if we're top split or not. I would hope not because there was 270 people registered. I'm hoping we're second split. Green flag, green flag. But I have a feeling we're top split. To I have like mid 30,000, something like that. 33, 3400. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot where I'm at because I haven't, Good luck, everybody. I haven't ran the oval in a while. Got no caution. Yeah, somebody bounced. I don't even know who it was. It might have been the 18. Whoever started in the outside lane got the pole, had got the uh, lead real quick, but the outside lane kind of gets rolling a lot more, it seems like. Because we can stay in the gas a little bit more, I feel like, in the draft. People are already backing out of it behind us on the low side. I don't think these get loose at all on this track. I don't, I don't know, but I'm not 100% sure. 
This guy's gonna try to block both lanes. That's not gonna go well, I can guarantee that. But if you don't want, I force you. Okay. Seven car. Well, no, I'm on seven car. Sixteen. He, he went flying up through us. He took it three wide right away. I'd rather stay on the very outside lane than be in the middle. 22 tried, to, 22 tried to block both lanes and we just split them basically and the guy the second guy on the bottom lane is bouncing. Yeah, I don't know who that is. 21? Yeah, 21 car. I'm just like three quarter throttle down the back stretch right now. Where are we in the probes? We could run three wide here pretty easily, so I'm not that worried about that. They're checking up really hard on this top side. Two cars still stuck in the middle. He's getting down. Five cars trying to take it three wide now on the three car. He's going to get shuffled back a little bit. Now I'm the second guy in this lane. Three car, don't squeeze me, please. 21 comes up, goes all the way up the track. These cars are really tight. Can't get to his bumper because I don't want to spin him. That one car, the Pac-Man car, that looks so cool. He's, he's like scheme loaded in next to me. It looks so cool. Come on, five car, go. Bottom lane's definitely going to be faster until they check up for the most part. Like down the straightaways, the outside kind of gets a run. But I'm not trying to push it too hard, and I don't want to. Fucking VR felt loose, so I was trying to fix it while no one was near me. 22 was using VR and it fell off. That's a yikes. But yeah, the bottom's definitely faster through the corners for sure. Five car can't hold a line in the middle of the track. I'm like trying to stay close enough to them to where we're getting a lot of draft, like pushing them, but not actually pushing them. I want to be able to keep in range of seeing his uh, license color, so I know I'm not too close. I can probably get a little closer, but I don't want to. To I don't want to hit him because these cars don't bump enough. I'm honestly surprised he made it this this far, going on to lap five without a wreck, at least up here. But I think it's been pretty clean through the field so far, even though we went three wide on like lap two or three. <laughs> yeah, they get such a run through the corner, kind of got to pinch them down some, and then we get a big run down the stretch, the front and back. 19's really like almost to the bumper of the one car though, it's super close. Like these cars, I'm not as good being behind somebody to like get them to speed. In other cars where we can actually bump draft, I'm very good at being the pusher. But these cars we can't push. So there's not a whole lot I can do. I can get close to them, but I don't wanna I don't wanna wreck them or anybody else. I can kinda peek my nose out to the right since we're on the outside lane and get closer to his bumper. But I keep letting off a lot down the straightaway to not get into him. I said I wanted to stay in range of seeing his license, but I haven't for a while until just now. But that's a thing you can do in like all the cars. You can stick your nose out a little bit to the right to get really close to their bumper, and that could usually get you to bump draft. My old oil temp's getting a little hot, but not that bad yet. Since you're not actually bump drafting, it doesn't get too hot. I kind of want to move up and let them go by. But I don't want to be second in line anymore. Especially like this early on. I don't want to be second in line right now. And we can go in behind the 22 here. We'll be fine. We'll see if the three car can give a little bit more of a push to the five than I do. I just don't want to wreck them is the main thing and get caught up in that. Sorry, Tina, for crowded you there. The freaking wind pushing down. <laughs> the wind? I don't even know how much wind is at this track. Right now. That makes more sense. 
but I don't know how much the wind actually affects you in iRacing. I know they have it where you can see like the direction and how many miles an hour, but I don't know if it really affects you too hard. Like it did this past week at, uh, in NASCAR at Kansas. It was super wind gust and it was like pushing people into the wall and getting them loose in the middle of one and two. Especially coming off of two. Oh, I just hit a bug or two. They just got two spots on my windshield immediately at the same time. I'm so used to hitting my tear off button on dirt. I like do that on the oval side now when my windshield gets stuff on it. <laughs> Lap eight out of 20, getting close to halfway. Yeah, my old temps literally like the same as when I was right behind the five car. We're just not yet having enough people in our line to get anything working. But I still would rather be in this, oh, oh. Five car gone, okay. It, it looked like he got bumped by the three, went to the outside wall and disappeared. Five car alt <laughs> he might have alt F4'd though, I'm not sure. Yeah, he just disconnected. Yeah, that was, I think he alt F4'd immediately. I don't know what happened to him. You didn't want to call the wreck? I'm not respected. Yeah, Maybe. Weird. I don't know if he got bumped by the three or not. He, he might have. He but if he all afforded that quickly, that was impressive. <laughs> to be honest. That was super fast. I could not get to my keyboard that fast if I tried. Okay, the guy behind me wants to go three wide for no reason. Nice. 22 is really good pusher, it looks like. He can get right on the bumper. That was a weird pull down coming off the corner. Four cars really trying to crowd me for some reason. Like being three wide, like dude move. I think he's trying to see if I think he's trying to see if he can make up some spots by himself, but it seems like he can't. I'll stay up there with you. I'll stay up there with you. Go there, go on. No, it's fine. Oh, just, oh, oh one car is coming up. 22 can come down if he wants. Listen, I won't forget you when you're in front of me in a little bit. I'll get All you right, we're going to be through wide in the middle. Not where I want to be. Ah. But it is what it is. One car wants the lead, which I makes sense. I kind of feel bad because I've won a couple times this week. And the people are just pushing me so well, and I feel like I should re repay the favor to some people, you know? But he's been the benefit yeah, factor of being pushed a lot. Yeah, he did a hell of a job there with it. I'm not that risky with doing it. Like, I'm not as experienced in these cars doing that. But I don't know how close I can get without looking at him. Something really bad, and I got a VR. What do you say? Something real bad? I'm not 100 percent sure exactly what he said. Apparently, I'm giving a hell of a push to the one car. He should be able to get down. Yep. Now I'll be the top. I'll be first in this lane now. And I got the 22 behind me. I'm pretty sure. So hopefully we can get the push now. But I think the 19 is going to come up. Is my guess. Nope, he didn't. Okay. I really thought the 19 was going to come up there. And try to hold this white line here. Make it easy for them. Yeah, 22 is a very good pusher. He can get right to the bumper of people. I kind of want to stay in this middle lane too, even if I get clear. I don't want to stay here. Because the 22 is such a good pusher. 19 is a really good pusher too to that one car. He was able to get him back out front there. But I'm wondering if we're just losing the numbers in our lane or not. I'm not 100% sure. Am I going to be able to lead this lap? Looks like it. Yeah, we will lead the lap. Nice. This 22 is a hell of a pusher. And I'd love to stay up here with him if I can. They definitely get such a run through the corner. We get a huge run down the back and front stretch, though. Sorry if I'm carrying you guys behind me. I just was there to push me all over. Yeah, the, these cars are a little weird with the uh, drafting on how it pulls and pushes you places. A lot different than 
like the cup car or Xfinity car, I feel like. Trying to stay wide on, right on that white line. Oh, he actually bumped me. I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised he was able to. They're 21. I think that's the fastest I've ever seen a Rick Ware paint scheme go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Rick Ware. <laughs> Trying to stay with the 22 here because I really like him as a pusher. But if I come up, if I go down, the one car is just going to go right back to the middle lane, do the same thing he did before. I don't really want to get stuck on the bottom, to be honest. Yeah, he's really good at just barely tapping you. Just the middle tap. But we're having a good race. We're doing well. I'm very happy with this. I was really thinking there was going to be a huge wreck in the beginning. We we're going to be caught up in it or something. Hey, we led that lap again. Nice. We're like barely leaving these laps every every time. I got to go up there. My old comes getting really high. Yeah, I figured that. Should have took the bottom at that point. I would love. I would. I would have lifted it, but I don't want to wreck it. Now let's see, I don't know who's behind me now. It might be the 12 car. We'll see if he could push as well as the 22 did. But like a lot of people, every time they get into this middle lane, they'll get out to the lead, get to the he bottom. He was running a good 300 too. The president blow. Damn. He was as hot as possible. He could be, damn. Like he was pushing his heart out. That's crazy. But uh, I'm surprised he didn't blow up too. That's very surprising. Really try to just hold, not hold them down, but like just be right on them. I think we let that lap too. Wow, we're like barely leaving these laps. But yeah, every time it seems like somebody gets out into the lead, they get pushed down to the lead in the middle lane, they go down, and then it's just like a cycling effect of the guy in the middle lane going up. Uh, and the 12 car wants to go through wide now. We're four wide. Sorry. We are four wide. I running right up in front of I thought I was clear enough. Jesus Christ. I was not ready to be four wide down the back stretch. That will make for an interesting picture, I think, for the thumbnail. <laughs> I was not ready for that one bit. 12 card took his run and just went with it. And I think we're still going to lead this lap. Yeah, we are. Wow. I'm very shocked that we still led that lap. <laughs> Gonna stay right on this white line since we have three wide now. Probably be three wide the rest of this race. Hopefully there won't be any wrecks, but I'm happy to be in the front of a lane. Mainly. Hopefully they don't get turned above or below us. Got the 22 to the outside who's been a great pusher. The 12's been a pretty good pusher too with the lap or lap and a half he was behind us. They're going back really fast though. I think because they only had them two. 16 car. Why is everybody trying to take me three wide? I don't understand. Like, what the hell? What's wrong with me? You can run so close to people down the trial. And not leave that lap. We should get a good result, hopefully. Cross my fingers. What do we got? Three laps left. Try to stay at the front of this middle lane. Got a huge push down this uh, back stretch. Like I said, I don't want to pull down because everybody does that and then the middle lane just goes back to the lead. I want to stay in the damn middle lane. I think it's the smartest thing to do. 22 is pushing the 16 on the very outside. He's been like the best pusher in this race, I think, by far. Because he gets right on people's bumpers. Did we leave that lap? Yeah, we did. What, two laps left? Come on, we got this. I think I've only won a super speedway race one time ever. But I'm not 100%, I'm not even 100% sure about that. I don't even know. 16's gonna get the lead and he's probably gonna come down. Oh, he got hit into the wall. Yep, he got, he got turned into the outside wall. 
by the 22 from the pushing. They were aggressively pushing. I'm surprised that didn't cause a huge wreck, though. I'm shocked that didn't cause a huge wreck. I thought he was going to hit that wall and come all the way down. Hit his bumper, and I was trying to push him really light. One lap left. Come on. Who's behind me? The 19? We got this. Come on. Come on, 19 car. Oh, no, not the 19. Who's behind me? The 2. I was Come trying on, to push car. you out far we enough so I could slide down because I almost started overheat again at 300. That's oh, dang, he's I getting his car so hot. I don't understand how. I That's crazy. Check up or nothing to get air. Really trying to pinch him? Yeah, we're getting her done anyways. Two cars going to take the run. Somebody's going to go with him behind, it looks oh, like. Epic. Nope, they're going to go with me. They're going to leave him out to dry. This is not going to end up well for us, I think. Second guy in line is going to try to pull up. This four car is going to wreck somebody. Oh, Jesus, we're getting wrecked across the line. <laughs> hey, we finished second. Oh, a third. I'll take it. <laughs> we finished third wrecking across the line. I will take it. That was God, fun. Good race, good win. Definitely that was fun, bro. That was crazy. Three wide across the finish line. I started barely okay, getting turned by the 12. Oh, no, it was by the four, I, I think. A little tap. The four car was trying to move out of line, and that's kind of what caused it, I feel like. Yeah, because he got to my okay, left. Right, that was fun. He got to my back left, and it had a little bit of net code. Yeah, that fucking but sucks. we just yeah. got pushed across the finish line, wrecking. Oh, they were five wide almost at the line. That's crazy. It was, cool. it was still fun, man. That was a ton of fun. Like that that right. can't get much Good closer. Racing, guys. Let's go sideways to this. Oh, I'm inside the 19 car. Yeah, that can't get much closer, really. Not whatsoever. That's kind of crazy. At least I kept it. No, pretty much kept it that, all for you guys. That's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> that's a great finish. That's a great finish. Let's go. Hang on. Reset this camera. See this finish one last time. See it going down the back stretch actually. Because the two car had a great run, went to the outside of me. I thought the 12 was going to go with them and I was going to be left in the middle and it was going to really suck. But hell, I'll take third out of that. I'm super happy about that. That was great. Yeah, that was just great. We're doing fucking, I was doing 196. Two car had a good run there, looked like the 12 was going to go with them, then left him out the dry, gave me a huge boost forward. But I knew the 19 was going to pull up. Because he was just getting clear of me, and I'm like, there's no way I'm just going to stay behind him. The four car, holy crap, where did he even come from, dude? Hang on, where where's the four car? He was so far back. Like, in this corner, look how far back he was. He had the massive run, took it four wide, going, to the, going through the triangle, took that because the 12 car gave him space. I really thought he was going to try to go four wide between me and the 19, which it kind of looked like he was going to do right at the very end. And that's kind of what started causing the wreck, but hell, that was that was great. Let's go back, uh, what, a lap where he was pushing, the 22 was pushing the 16 here that I saw on the right side of my car, come, going on the outside of my car. So I thought the 16 was going to clear us here, come all the way down into the bottom lane, or even in front of my lane, either or. But the 22 was the best pusher all day by far. He was great. I think he just barely hooked him, just barely caught his back right, sent him into the wall. I thought he was coming down the track and wrecking everybody. But they they actually kept it pretty clean. 22, oh, 15, wrong place, wrong time. That's unfortunate. And the 11, oh. Oh, and the 20, oh. That was just wrong place, wrong time. What even happened to the 16? He just lost a ton of time. Dang, the four car was so far back, man. Like, look at his drive up here. He was so far back going into this last lap. He was flying. Absolutely flying. But I'll take that. We led a lot of laps. I'm happy about that. Able to stay in that middle lane and I never pulled down. That actually gave us a chance for it at the end. So I think if I would have pulled down, I just would have gotten stuck on the bottom at some point. Because I had multiple times where I could have. I just want to see his run here at the very end. He had so much speed. When 200 miles an hour going into turn three jesus the draft is crazy nine car was just super high up the track he just saw all the c's starting to part the way 12 car moved up out of the way just enough for him he had so much momentum 
he checked up here so he didn't just wreck the guy in the front but hey if he just would have hit the 19 there it probably would have uh benefited us but that was a crazy finish oh dang he hit hard that was still just a crazy finish at the line oh where were we four wide hang on let me go back to my car where were we four wide for a minute where the hell was that I'm trying to find that because that was kind of crazy where was it because i was not expecting four wide where was it that was that was something i really wasn't expecting at the time it happened i think it was right when the 22 stopped pushing me because he was starting to get too hot where was it where was it it had to have been pretty soon here because the 22 got out of line to get into the back he only fell back like three spots they start coming on the outside right here yes they had a huge run on the outside by the wall for some reason i think the 12 car wanted to go block it and didn't go fully out there and then we ended up four wide going down the back stretch like geez i was not ready for that and then i think we were four wide going through three and four 21 got in the wall that kind of slowed all their momentum down surprised the uh 22 didn't come all the way down in front of me so that was kind of surprising but yeah that was a crazy race i'll take third place out of that we started 10th it stayed out of all the any wrecks i don't know if there really was any wrecks let's go back to the very beginning and see if there was like really any incidents in the race besides just tapping people so i think it was just everybody just barely tapping each other i don't think there was any wrecks especially up here there might have been some back here we will see oh oh yeah what happened to the what car was it the five car what what, what happened on his last lap did he get tapped by the three and just all f4 i think he did because he went straight out to the wall and just disappeared. I was very confused by that. Very, very confused. But this kind of racing is crazy. You never know what's going to happen. You can have a lucky day like I did. Or you can have an unlucky day. Like most people do here. I, I have unlucky days at super speedways most of the time. I was not a very good pusher in these cars. Because I didn't know exactly where to push the limit at. The 22 was great at it. The 19 was very good at it too. The two car was pretty good at pushing as well. The 12 car was very good as well uh, also. What? Yeah, no, I don't know what happened to him. He just left. He didn't even get hit or anything. He just went out to the outside wall. All, he just all f forward in the middle of the run. Maybe he had to leave or something. I don't know, but hell, I'll take that finish. That was a crazy finish. I, I want to see how many laps we led there. Cause I was like right at the front, so many laps. And then coming to the start finish line, this finish again was awesome. I love this. Like, this is the kind of racing you want at a super speed ray. Just finishing four or five wide behind us, wrecking across the finish line. Rather be at the finish line than early in the race, at least. So, that was fun. That was just fun. So, let's go see what we end up getting out of this. We'll actually end up gaining some high rating out of a super, super speed ray race, which is awesome. And just look at the times. They were so close. That was awesome. So, that, that was just great all together. Let's go see what we get. All right, results in strength of field just over 3,000, which is kind of crazy. We were a top split. I was hoping we were a second split, but we were a top split. That's all right. Car number 19 barely won it there. He led two laps. The 10 car or the one car led 10 laps. I led six laps. I'll take that. Very happy with that. We led uh, six out of six out of the 20 laps. That's not bad. Five car led a lap. So yeah, that's uh, 17, 18. This three car one led one, 19, 20, and then 10 more. So the one car led most laps. Uh, he finished second. We finished third. I will take that. We wrecked across the finish, which was awesome. We lost a little bit of safety, but that is okay with me. Everybody basically ended up with a 4X besides the 14 and then the 8, uh, 13, and 23. The 5 car ended up with a 0X, but he like just all f forward for no reason. And then this guy didn't even race. I think he left. Uh, I think he got disconnected before the even the qualifying started or something. But that was fun. That was absolutely crazy. Four wide for a little bit in that race. Even right there at the end, we went four, nearly five wide right there at the end. We gained 63 I rating. We're almost at the 3,700, which is awesome. Got really lucky in this race by far. I will admit that. We definitely got very lucky in this race. What was the highest I rating? Over 5,300. It was like mid 53, just under that. What was the lowest? 23. Where was your I rating at? So it was still like 2,400. So that was a pretty tight spread of i ratings and then also there was what 12 splits there was a ton of people racing this so luckily we had a pretty clean race and that was a lot of fun just a lot of people ended up with four x there at the end but that's all right uh unfortunately for the 22 he finished so far back two laps down because of that wreck with two laps left uh he actually he accidentally pushed the 16 a little too hard it got into the wall when we were 
to what three wide and uh that all happened at that point that was unfortunate he was the best pusher by far i think the 12 car is a very good pusher as well and he was behind me there on the front stretch and he ended up finishing sixth like it was just crazy on how much of a run the four car had at the last lap that was just nuts so very fun race uh what a crazy finish i think that's like been one of the closest finishes i had in a long time on i racing for a super speedway and at least we finished up front usually i end up in a huge wreck when we had when there's good races like this so happy we were able to actually make it to the end and we actually led a decent amount of laps too which was a lot of fun so appreciate you guys for watching as always hopefully you guys enjoyed the race let me know if you guys have raced this and if you guys have gotten lucky or unlucky let me know how you guys have done if you guys have won any probably a decent amount of you guys that have won some races here this week but that was a lot of fun what a finish and uh i appreciate you guys for watching once again and i'll catch you guys in the next one